Hey, welcome to my webcast podcast. I'm Brian Turner, founder, owner of MonsterMuleys.com. My son and I, and I are up here in Colorado, third season. This is Andon. Anyway, we just spotted a big buck that we're going to try and get Andon on. He's in some thick aspens, so it might be kind of tricky, but uh, we're going to see. Maybe he'll bed down before he goes over the hill. If not, then we'll probably just sneak down there and see if we can get a shot. So it's midday, day number two of our third season deer hunt. Um, we uh, we saw that buck yesterday, but we couldn't get close enough for a shot. He was just in some heavy aspens. Uh, he was a pretty good one. We come back in today, but we were just too late. We come from a different direction, and and we just didn't make it. So anyway, we're gonna keep after it. It's starting to snow now. It's supposed to snow, uh, I think, all night. So if it does that, it could put down uh, five or six inches down here if it does this all night. What do you think, Anna? I think it's snowing a lot. <laughs> you think you'll find a big buck before it's over? Yeah, it's going to be the one that uh, we saw yesterday. Nice. Yeah, so we're going to keep after it. Alright, so here we are. It's day number uh, day number three. It's morning. Obviously it's snowing. Um, come out this morning. It, it's been fairly clear, but I haven't seen, I've seen, uh, seen two, two uh, I think four point bucks down on private ground. And that's it. And then maybe, maybe 10 or 12 deer this morning total. So, and I can see it, I could see a long ways. I don't know. I don't know if they just haven't moved into this area or if there's just not very many in the area. I think it might be a little bit of both.
because there's a good number of does in here, and uh, they're acting pretty ruddy. I mean, I, I think they're, it should be going on pretty good. It's the ninth. Yeah, it's the ninth of today, so they should be, uh, they should be looking for does. Hopefully a big one shows up in here. The boy's pretty excited because we've seen a lot of deer. He spotted a lot of deer, so it's good times. Okay, put another one in. You were low. Day number eight here. And in here's packing all our stuff in. We we seen a wide buck this morning. Um, like I said, it's day number eight, second Saturday of the hunt. Come over to a spot, a new spot this morning. Seen a buck off in the distance that looked wide. He looked like a really good one. I could tell though he only had three on the one side, but didn't see the other side, but he was wide. He was a big buck, so. Um, we believe another guy might have been shooting long, a long, long ways at the buck. He shot six times. Anyway, the buck went up into some aspens, so we're going to go over there. It's a pretty good hike into there, but we're going to go over there and sit until dark, and, and hopefully we'll get, be the lucky ones, and he'll come out um, chasing does, and, and we'll get a crack at him. So We're going to give it a try, aren't we? Yeah. All right, let's go. Well, that does it for this hunting adventure. We went out today, day number nine. Uh, we've seen a few uh, two-year-old bucks. We did see one that I showed you there on video. It was heavy, uh, at an extra, not real wide, but he was a taker for Andon, but uh, he was about 100 yards on to private, so. And he didn't look like he was leaving. Anyway, we're just breaking camp down. Did you have a good time, Andon? Yeah. All right. So that's it. That's our hunt for the year. No bucks for either one of us, but we had a good time. Saw lots of bucks, lots of bulls. Weren't hunting elk, but saw a lot of game. Uh, it was super cold, super cold, but it was fun. Good times.